Hey uh, I'm Valen from Mischief of Mice. Welcome to another bit by bit on Witchery, a Minecraft mod by Emonif. As usual, I'll post some helpful links in the description. So, let's begin. Today, hi Peaky, good to see you're back. We're gonna take this right from you, thank you. We're covering circle magic, if you haven't guessed it already by the circle talisman in my hand. So, first and foremost, circle talisman little expensive but very useful tool. So how does it work? Well having your witchcraft circle magic book will help you out considerably. You don't have to have it for watching or anything like that but if you're playing it will definitely help you out. So pulling circles into a talisman. What this does is it allows you to basically pick all these circles up by using this talisman here. I should give you a, a quick heads up that there are multiple ways of doing the same thing with this mod, uh, with circle magic. Often one is with an altar at a less material cost, and the other is without an altar uh, with a little bit higher cost, and usually one of those attuned stones that's been charged. Essentially it's kind of like a battery where the altar it would be a generator. So it, you can use it out on the run, if you will. And circle talismans allow you to do so even easier. So, start off with, I'm going to do, use the ones that have altar power because, well, I've got an altar right over here. Uh, but there is another option, which is, in this case is glowstone dust and a charge to tune stone. But for now, we just need a circle talisman and a redstone. So let me get a little redstone here. Get some circle talismans, and I will show you what we need to do. Just toss these down, or you can put them in the uh, graspers. Oops. And if the right doesn't work, I never showed you guys this, it will actually make that noise and nothing will happen. It might actually even give you a warning saying, uh, right not right, unknown right. So now, if you look here, I have this circle talisman has a description. Small ritual, medium otherware, large infernal. Now the ritual... Otherware and Infernal are the types of chalk circles. So, if I were to put this back down, I'm going to click in the same spot. You have all three circles back again. So, there's the Ritual Circle, the Otherware Circle, and the Infernal Glyph Circle. Now, those are made from three different types of chalk. I'll show you the Infernal one, which I did not cover last time, uh, shortly. But, to and because I'm in uh, Creative, the items actually stayed on this... Uh, circle. When I put them all down, you'll get an empty circle talisman back. So I'm just going to put these back in here for now. Alright, next, how to create a blooded waystone. Now the reason for this is so that you can have things like Peaky over there deliver you items or even splash potions uh, with one of these little waystones here to a player instead of a location. So, those are on page 9 and 10 in your book, which I will go to here. And you can see that there's a little altar power required for this one, and none for this one, but it does require an attune stone that's charged. And I should mention that anytime you use one of these charged attune stones, it will just make it into a normal attune stone and take the charge off of it. So then you'll have to recharge it, just like a rechargeable battery. So, a waystone, enter do, slime ball, and a snowball in a 7x7 seven seven circle. So white circle, I should say, or a ritual circle. Now let's see here. One, two, three, four. Whoops. And I picked up the items a little too early there. And that's what... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Unknown right. That's what I was talking about earlier. And I'm a little too close. There we go. You want the person that this is going to be bound to to be preferably within the circle, if not on the edge of it. Uh, they might be able to stand as far away as the middle circle, but uh, I'm, I haven't actually tested that much yet. So, Blooded Waystone. So when you look at it now, it says Bound to Valen Frostweaver. And you can have things delivered to them. Uh, you cannot use the next part on this, which I will show you here first. I'm just going to drop that back in there. Alright. How to duplicate Waystones. Now, uh, this one here that I just picked up, put one there. This is a regular bound waystone. The uh, coordinates are for the center of this circle here, and that's to teleport things or people or objects or send delivery agents like Peaky over there 
to that location different from this one which delivers to entities or people per se. Uh, I tried having it set up so you could deliver it to like a, a villager or a Peaky over there and it doesn't quite work with that so I think it only works with uh, players. But you can still duplicate these ones which work with a specific location. So to do that you just need some of these items here. And you'll need the uh, original bound waystone that you had created. And that's on pages 12 and 13 in your book here. Which, once again, ultra power for the cheaper one. And quick climbing and a tune stone for the other. Still a 7x7 seven seven small circle. So, let's see here. One. And a blank one to write on. And you're doing redstone. Click it. And there you go. You now have two more bound waystones, which I had one already in my inventory. So there we go. Simple enough. That way you can keep making more if you want. Uh, that way you don't have to go to that location in order to, um, in order to, uh, you know, make another one. Uh, for instance, if I was really far away and I had one of these waystones for this location and I wanted to get here, but I didn't have the materials to make more, I could then duplicate it back at my home base far over there and therefore wouldn't have to come to this location with my last one. Anyway, moving along. How to change the uh, chalk ring colors. So let's say, which strangely enough, the next thing we need will need to be to change this color here. The, uh, the ritual glyph. I need to change it to an otherware glyph. So let's grab that. This is on page 16 in your book, which, do, 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 there we go, a gypsum and an arthana. And it does have, oh, it's just page 16. So this one does require altar power for it. Uh, you drop the color of the desired, or chalk of the desired color you want. It will use up the entire chalk. So you get more use out of it if you dig them up and put them down, uh, a piece of chalk that is. But uh, this is much easier. And if you've mass produced things like I highly recommend when you're first starting out, then you'll end up having plenty of resources to work with and you won't have to do all the tedious work over and over again. But anyway, so one piece of otherware chalk for the small ring. So I'm going to toss that in. And then one piece of gypsum and one arthana. Now you notice this is my enchanted one. Right click. And there you go. The inner ring is now otherware. And I got my Arthana back. So just to show that this works with other stuff too. Toss in two white ones and a piece of gypsum. That should change the middle ring to ritual. And there we go. And I actually got that one back. The excess uh, chalk. So it's not as expensive as before. So let's see. One, two, three. One and my arthana. That changed the outside. <laughs> Funny enough, it already was red, so I don't know why I just did that. I just used up a piece of chalk. Oh well. Anyway, you get the idea. That's how you would go about changing those. And I will keep this one again. So, how to teleport to the bound waystone location. Well, this one's simple. Page 17 and 18. There are a couple ways of doing it. Oops. One is with the bound waystone, you'll teleport to the circle. The other is a blooded waystone. You'll teleport to the person. Now, I don't want to teleport to myself, so I'm just using the bound one. So throwing that in there, right click. You don't even need an altar. And look, I am back at that uh, old castle town again. Now, in order for me to get back, I currently brought one with me. So I'm just going to throw that in there. Hopefully not pick it up by accident. There we go. And a back. Just like that. All right. Now, how to summon an entity or a player. Now this actually works with things like Peaky or villagers. I have a tag lock kit. And that is going to be required for this. So tag lock kit is bottle 
and a bone needle, which bone needle is just bone and flint gives you eight bone needles. And essentially what you're doing is you're pricking the person to get a blood sample so that you have that to work with. Now, I already went ahead and did this with Peaky so that you guys don't need to see it happen. But I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? Doesn't hurt him. It, now, if you notice, it, when I use it on an entity that actually will hold an item, there we go. It just <laughs> it, it gives the illusion that he's holding onto it when in fact he's not. I actually have it in my inventory now. You notice it has a pink appearance. So therefore, I have a tag lock kit bound to Peaky. We're going to take these here. One, two, three, four, and whoops, that didn't work. Oh, that was my problem. So I did not have the uh, other wear chalk on the outside. So allow me to remedy that quickly. There we go. And now I can summon Peaky. Wow, just like that. He appears. And allow me, a wild Peaky appears. No, uh, let me put him back over here so he doesn't get into any trouble. Alright, now that that's taken care of, now for the best part, in my opinion circle mining for iron. Now, you may need a few items, but you don't need an altar, at least not at the location you want to mine. So, I need iron. Well, circle magic will help you out with this. Uh, just so you can see, page 20, which I'll get to real quick here. There we are. Transpose iron from the ore below. Enter pearl, iron ingot, blaze powder, diamond vapor, and an attuned charged stone. Therefore, this is transportable, uh, but it's a big circle, so you're going to need a 15 by 15. I already have one prepared here, and you know, let's go far enough away that you know that I am without out of range of that. And this is very powerful. This doesn't work for any other ores. This is just iron. So there we go. I have put that down. I'm going to drop these items here. Now watch this. And the iron starts popping out of the earth. It just keeps coming, keeps coming, <laughs> until all the iron below it is up and on the surface. And it, you'll know that it's done when the little red area is stopped. So let me land and turn on magnet mode here. And we can see just how much iron. 52 pieces of iron just from that little ritual. Not too bad if you ask me. So that about covers everything for today's episode. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. And until next time, see ya!